What's up, YouTube? Welcome back, everyone. Uh, it's amazing. It's been slow in sentiments, and I know some other shops have been slow too. And it's been a big roller coaster. Like you're busy, and then you're slow. There's really no in between for us, and we're not known for quick, quick lube oil changes here at Meineke Sentiments. And I'm not really that guy, so I don't really try to entertain or pretend that I am. Um, and some of the reasons why is because we're in an old business model, Meineke. Look, here's the distance. Here's the distance between getting vans in here. All right, so here's a, a 3500 Chevy van. All right, and I'm using jack stands to do the back brake work, work, to diagnose the back brake work. And then we have the infamous Ford Transit 150 that might have said that they they don't do drum brakes. I don't think it's that they don't do drum brakes. Maybe they said it has drum brakes, but. Last time I checked, this is rear disc brakes on a Ford. Um, and these are a little bit more challenging to do than, I don't even know, like this is a drum brake setup and I would rather do that brake job for the ease, for me for ease, than do this brake job for a little bit more complexity here. Um, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the woes of a full service shop type of uh, Meineke in a teeny tiny space. I mean, look at this, like this space here. Like you can't even get a vehicle all the way to the top here. I'm going to show you what the space is between the bays. Like this is kind of not real spacious. Not real spacious. Um, and I'll just take you through the rest of it. There's just not a whole lot of room in here for the equipment that you have. I mean, look, here's the back of the, the bay doors and then here you go. So, I mean, I make it work. I make it work, but it's, it's just crazy. Like the last few weeks has been slow. We've had work, but slow. And, uh, and then here you go, Friday, the Easter weekend, we're slammed here and understaffed because somebody wanted to take off and I was like, well, yeah, it's been slow. And then here you go, boom. There's just, there's, there's just no following any trend, at least here at my shop. So I got this old Cadillac, it's not even old, Cadillac 4.6, the guy wants it obnoxiously loud. So we're gonna do a muffler delete. Muffler delete, muffler delete, resonator delete. Uh, and we're gonna get busy here. Thanks for watching.